Greetings and salutations. This is Akira Shin. In this video, I will again be featuring the Yakovlev Yak-30 Russian fighter. Now, I just reviewed this aircraft, and I refer you to that video for a more complete discussion and review. I am making the second video because in the comments regarding my first video, it was mentioned that gold uh, ammunition and gold consumables are being used. And the concern that the commenter had was that it creates a play to a pay to win situation. So I'd like to first kind of address that issue. And, and by the way, I appreciate um, the comment. Uh, I don't take any offense to it, and I greatly appreciate the feedback on that issue. And I want to be responsive uh, to that concern. And maybe others of you might have that concern. Maybe some of you don't. So in addressing the pay-to-win issue, I'd like to point out a few things. First, if you look at history, any uh, war or conflict has often be, been decided by the power that has the greater resources. Uh, if you look at the American Civil War, for example, uh, one of the reasons why the North prevailed over the South was the North's greater resources in men, in material, and in finances. If you look at World War II, uh, the Axis powers were overwhelmed by the resources, ultimately, of the Allies. There is a movie called The Battle of the Bulge. Some of you may have seen that. It's a great flick. But in that movie, there is a scene where the German panzer commander shows his sergeant a captured cake. And he makes the comment that this is why we are losing. We are short on all materials. We are short on uh, fuel. But the Allies have the resources to send cake all the way across the Atlantic. So resources often determine conflicts. If you look in sports, the teams that are able to bring to bear more resources in terms of uh, hiring the and recruiting the best players, uh, offering the best training, etc. Those are the teams that often come out on top. So it is rare that in any conflict or competition, that resources do not come into play. That being said, uh, I want to offer this video of the Yakovlev Yak-30 fighter using only uh, non-gold ammunition. So we have the standard ammunition and we have the non-gold consumables. And just so you know, with the consumables, the main difference between the non-gold and the gold is that the 
non-gold have a 90 second uh, cool down, whereas the gold has a uh, 60 second cool down. The interesting thing about the ammunition is, uh, and, and in my previous video I went with high explosive ammunition for the greater crit chance, but one of the sacrifices you make in going with the greater crit chance is that you lose uh, significantly, lose the ability to set fires. Uh, the standard ammunition is basically a balance between crit chance and chance of fire. So the standard ammunition is not uh, bad to use, uh, and I think you will see as we get into the combat here that this aircraft is, is just as effective with the non-gold as it is with the gold. So anyway, uh, I am happy to bring you this video. I hope you enjoy it and get something out of it. So let's head into a battle here and see how our non-gold uh, resources work. Okay, so we have drawn the Road to Rome, which is very exciting. That's the new map in World of Warplanes 2.0.2. .2. I love this map. Now, it's not the best uh, map for this particular aircraft uh, because this is a uh, low-level fighter. Uh, that's where it's best in its element. Show me what you can do, pilot. Let's roll. And there's not a lot of terrain to use to your advantage on this map. But still, it's just... It's really an attractive map. this garrison nope they got it all right so on to the airfield where I am sure it will be a battle royale Let's see if we can take this one uh, air defense aircraft out and then we will uh, go on to our red players. Die, die, die. You can see we've got a fire on him and we took him out with the fire which is something you don't get as much of with the The high crit ammunition. have to lead these jets. If you are used to rotary aircraft, you have to 
lead jets uh, much more. We have somebody, I think, maneuvering into our six. They got him. Some, probably some ground attack aircraft over there. Javelin. Those can be very deadly aircraft. back. Want to play. There we go. Again, these uh, Japanese jets you have to be careful because they do tend to want to slow down and it's easy to pass them. Oops. Somebody wants to kill us. Why do they want to do that? We're so nice. about that other aircraft that was shooting at us. Ah, oh, it's gotten out of range. Probably come back around though, they usually do. We did. I'd help if I could hit the guy. Shooting at us. Thank you very much. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Gotcha. Let's dive down on this fellow here. He's another Yak-30. in my way. There's no way to break through you now. You're on your own. Let's see if he comes back. Usually do. I don't know why. They do. We are way high. We are very much out of our element up here. Let's dive down and get back into low altitude combat where we sell the most. Be advised, 
The enemy is concentrating forces near the airfield. Air supremacy achieved. Okay, so let's see how we did here. Uh, effective fire. Flames in the sky, courtesy of our balanced ammunition. Subjugator. Uh, Akamatsu Medal, over 400 capture points. Of course, the number one spot. And uh, our uh, grade three fighter assault. So, folks, that is the Yak-30 with all non-gold consumables and non-gold ammunition. As you can see, still very effective aircraft. Okay, so 11 uh, aerial targets destroyed. Over 7,000 combat points. Ninety eight hundred plus combat points. All right. One thing I wanted to show you, uh, as I mentioned to you, I will be featuring the uh, MiG-15. And, you know, while... Let's go back here for a moment. While you take a look at the uh, camo for this Yak-30, not the most attractive camo. But you'll see on the MiG-15, which I'll be featuring soon, much nicer paint schemes. I'll show you those real quick. This is, of course, my favorite. I like the blues in that coupled with the, the red stars. So anyway, I'll be featuring that aircraft next. And when I feature it, I will have only non-gold consumables and non-gold ammunition. So there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you, if you get an opportunity to fly the Yak-30, whether you have the gold consumables and ammunition which are great to have but if you don't have those as you can see you'll do just fine